Jack Nicholas's greatest 18 holes of major championship golf. Man, that's a mouthful. Is a golf simulation video game releasing on computers two years after Nicholas won the 1986 Masters Tournament. Golf simulation, remember that term. The draw of this title was that players could compete against Nicholas himself as a computer opponent, and well, his name's on the box, and he gives you a tip here and there. The Turbo Graphics version, eventually released on Turbochip and CD-ROM, had a new title, Jack Nicholas Turbo Golf, or Jack Nicholas is, depending on where you look. Either way, it's much easier to say. So, a game released based on one of the greatest golfers of all time must be awesome, right? Let me start off by saying that there are a lot of options to choose from on both versions of this game. On Turbo Chip, you have but one lone course, the Australian Golf Club. Once you fire up the CD version, however, you'll find five different courses. On both, you can select a few things, skins or stroke play, along with one or multiple players, in case you have a trusty TurboTap handy, computer or human players, skill level, altering wind, slices, automatic club selection, and there are more. On CD, you also have a match play option. Information on all of this can be found in the manuals, which are very text heavy, but nicely lay out everything throughout the pages, even describing each individual player. Finally, we can select a main form of play and get the darn ball in the darn hole. An overhead view of each hole appears before you tee off, giving you a detailed look at the layout and some statistics. Again, golf simulation worthy. During a round, you can select this overhead view by hitting run. Once it finishes drawing, you have a small flag stick showing your position. You can adjust the aiming ball to your liking and boom, swing. It works very similar to a lot of golf game power bars as you control the timing of the shot. You can change your perspective, like say a tree blocks your way, by moving the aiming ball off screen, and then, yeah, the screen will redraw again, all the time. Ugh. The driving is pretty traditional, and learning each hole can be fun if you allow it to be. Finally, we make it to the green. Here is where Turbo Golf kills me, because holy crap, putting is difficult. The angles are all over the place, and I'll be damned if I can ever get the hang of it. Oh, come... Anger simulation. Oh my god. Look, let's face it, that slow redrawing of the course is... Well, look at that. I know it's a cliche to complain about it in this particular title, but wow. People justify it by using that time to survey the terrain. Others take a nap. So honestly, if this bugs you, I would not even bother with this title. Playing against the computer, guess what? Every swing is slow and it also redraws every time. It's going to be a very long day. Here is a first on a Turbo Graphics game. The colors are hideous. The level of detail around the course is pretty good, as you can clearly see hazards, trees, and even defects in the ground. Sadly, it's so detailed, everything appears fuzzy and square. The animation of the golfer and the ball flying in the air is smooth, but the main play screen is just not appealing. Audio-wise, there really is no music to speak of on the chip version, except during the opening and option screens. You can choose three tracks, however, during play on the CD-ROM, and they're not bad. The CD also has an opening sequence, and Jack's tips are read aloud versus appearing as plain text on the turbo chip. Stay away from the bunker on the left and the mountains on the right. Otherwise, the sound effects are very simple on both editions. 
Although, for some reason, I love hitting these trees. <laughs> I don't know why. While the options are nice and the game follows golf very closely, the control itself is a bit clunky. Ugh. Wait, what? Stop! Stop already! Jeez. The power meter is not bad to time, and all of the options can be selected using your controller pretty well. But it's not as sharp as you would like, and waiting for that redraw, well, you just wish holding down a button would speed that up. Wait, <laughs> well, that's an understatement. I hate to come down on this title because they try to create a golf simulation and not just a golf video game. In fact, I played the Amiga version quite a bit as a kid, but here the fuzzy graphics, clunky gameplay, and awful redraw just don't seem to work. The game is very slow, and even though you can save and come back to it later, you'll need to decide for yourself whether this real life stuff is real great or real boring. Ah! That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! So let's head to the verdict. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, that about sums it up. Sadly, I've never cared much for this title and I can't recommend it. However, I will say if you are a fan and love the Turbo Chip version, Upgrading to the CD is probably worth it for the music, extra courses, speech, and a few additional goodies. End simulation.